So a lot of the time, Greg comes to visit us at Good Day State Line. This is the first time we're actually here at Plumbers and Pipe Fitters Training Center. There's so much going on here. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is our uh, training center. We're very proud of it. And so. you guys built um, pretty much everything you see when you oh, walk in. If you see it in here, we, our members were able to build it. Our apprentices get the skills to do all the work that you see done in here. So That's very cool. Yeah, it is. And I know something that is coming up soon is a trade trade expo that if someone's interested in you know being a part of all of this, they can get more information there, right? Yep. So all of the building construction trades throughout northwestern Illinois will be here uh, giving a hands-on demonstration for each of the skills throughout the trades. Uh, there will be soldering. There will be sheet metal workers be electricians, carpenters, insulators, operating engineers. If I leave somebody out, they're gonna give me a hard time about it. But uh, the fact of the matter is it's giving students an opportunity to do all the different hands-on activities that you do if you were in an apprenticeship program. Which is great because we talk a lot about the program and why it's an awesome program to enter. We talk about like the kind of money you can make, job placement, but obviously when we're in the studio, you're not showing me how to right. do anything. So the Trade Expo is an opportunity for people to actually see, okay, I Absolutely. think I can do that, or maybe I'm into that one, but like not that one, and kind of decide which program to enter. Yeah, they get a chance to see all. Obviously we're the best, but uh, <laughs> the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd, the event will take place. We have about 800 students from 30 different schools representing 20 different districts. And then on the evening of the uh, 22nd, on the Wednesday, from 5.30 till 7.30, we're gonna have an event geared towards women interested in the construction trade. Because there's no uh, gender wage gap, there's no race wage gap when you talk about union building construction trades. So that event will be geared towards your sisters, your mothers, your daughters, your grandmothers, uh, that may be interested in pursuing a career where they get paid what they're worth. It, it gives students an idea of what apprenticeship is. What is another pathway besides going into deep college debt? Sure. So. And it's a different kind of classroom situation physically, first of all, obviously. We're, we're in a classroom. Yeah, we're in a classroom <laughs> right now. So the, all these tables are dry, dry erase. They're fabricated by our students. Uh, there's a screen that pulls down over here. There's television throughout the whole building that we can cast to so they can see our lessons. Because nobody signed up for an apprenticeship to sit in a classroom and look at an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Yeah. They signed up to do hands-on activities. They signed up to get marketable life skills that will provide them with employment opportunities. A lot of our work, especially in the piping industry, is revolves around the hospitals in Northwestern Illinois. And during COVID, we weren't able to go to the hospitals to train any longer. So we decided we were gonna put the hospital here and over in this room here, we did a mock surgical suite to be able to uh, give students the idea of visual perception of what they're learning so we can install those medical gas systems safely in the hospital so that way if your loved ones are the ones being operated on you have that peace of mind to know that they were installed correctly by people that took certification classes yeah. that resulted in them installing these piping systems. Super important. Yeah. So if you want to be a part of the Trade Expo, do we need to sign up? Yeah, you can sign up through Project First Rate. Uh, Paul Nolly will be the person to sign up. If your school didn't sign up, we're welcoming people through uh, just individuals to okay. come in and they can tour the whole training center. It starts out with a little introductory meeting in the meeting hall, which is just uh, next door to us here. And then they get an idea of and they go to each station and learn about it, so. Okay, Paul, so I know what we're doing is soldering. Yeah. And I know that means putting something together, right? Correct. Okay, that's all I know. Putting copper together <laughs> and soldering it, yes. So then it doesn't fall apart and you can use it for stuff, right? Exactly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat the tube and I'm gonna get it hot so that heat will transfer into the coupling. And then once it's hot, I'm gonna move over to here with my heat at the bottom. And then my solder is gonna be over back here and it's gonna just pull it all in and wrap around. Go for it. Oh yeah. So we just get that warmed up. And of course heat rises. So that, that's an added benefit. See how that just filled right in? Yeah. All the way around. Huh. I'll come over here and do the other side. Smells like birthday cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already hot. See how that see how that traveled all the way around? Yeah. And that's it. So this is a skill you use for a lot of different things, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, like you gotta solder stuff all yeah, the time. Yeah, we solder pipes all the time. Oh, not yeah. just for fun. No, not just for fun. <laughs> Unless we're here training, then it's fun. <laughs> then it's kind of fun. So are, are you gonna show me how to like stuff. do this? Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's not hot yet. Yeah. There we go. It's happening. 
happening? Just like that. Then we can take that. Okay. We'll clean it off. Knock it off if there's anything dripping. Okay, so and then do the same thing on the other side. And it's already hot, so you won't oh. need much. Yep, just come over here. Oh, okay. Get your frame up into the. There you go, right there. Uh -oh. Just like that. This must all be on fire. <laughs> Just like that. And then you can knock that off there. All right. You can use that as a maybe don't do this example. <laughs> and then we can make it look nice like that. It's a good thing you know what you're doing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> then you just wipe that dry and let it cool and that's it. Coming up next on GDS, a new Let's Try It with Tammonique. We're working out and giving you some family workout tips for Family Fun Week. We'll be right back.